when I came here in 2020. There are no elephants around here. But because of peace which is there now, because of Simalaha, in years to come, it, it will be heaven on earth. A smart park is not smart in the way we think of smart being intelligent, rather it's about communications. Simalaha currently has no real proper communications within the park. So the plan is to put in a full-on radio network system. We are building a control room to monitor data which will be linked into Earth Ranger. That will be able to monitor Field Ranger patrols. It will be able to monitor the elephant movements from the collars we put on. So having collared elephants, we are hoping that we can also keep them safe from prosecution. We will know where they are in the landscape. So if we know they're moving to populated areas, we can action our village groups to move them away, protecting the elephants and the people for peaceful existence. This information is crucial in the management of protected areas, as well as trying to understand animal movements. We are in the Kaza region, so most of the elephants are to find in this region. They move between countries, and this data is very crucial in understanding their corridors, uh, also in trying to help mitigate against human wildlife conflict in the region. Um, in this operation, we were quite fortunate. We had coordinates from previous collars and that we were able to utilize to find a bigger herd. The vet and the pilot work extensively to get the dart in and immobilize that animal, which involves getting it into the right place at the right time and ensure that that ground team is, is nearby. Once the animal is darted and it goes down, the ground team rushes to make sure that uh, the animal is located and um, the most important thing is to make sure that the animal is breathing so the trunk has to be the first thing that the ground team attends to, making sure that the trunk is open and patent, the animal is able to breathe properly. Because every time you immobilize an animal, it's also an opportunity for you to collect samples and the samples also that we collect are very crucial in also conducting DNA analysis so that we are able to identify these animals. So we collared 10 elephants. During the collaring process, we took various measurements of the animals. We measured left and right tusk lengths and diameters to get an idea of the ivory that, that is on them. And for identification, took photos of the ear patterns because we identify the, the elephants with their ear patterns in their, in their ivory. Monitor breathing, make sure the animal is all good wake him up and off he goes with his new collar. Stay tuned to Peace Parks TV for more on the ground action.